Hey everybody, Rob Alvey with Theme Park Review here and we're back at IAPA 2011 in Orlando, Florida. What is IAPA, you ask? IAPA is the trade show for everything you can imagine theme park related. So if you're roller coasters, thrill rides, funnel cakes, pizza, anything, it's right here at this show floor. We're gonna go inside right now and check out all the new hotness for 2012 and we're gonna take you guys with us, so let's go. All right, so I'm over here at SNS with Kevin Rower, and we're standing in front of this brand new, first ever four cross seating El Loco Green Lantern train. It's pulsating behind me here. Kevin, you want to tell us a little bit about this ride and all of your guys' new hotness for 2012? Okay, sure. Warner Brothers uh, Movie World Australia uh, liked our El Loco, needed more capacity. We said, tell you what, we'll work with you. We'll work on the theming, we'll put four well, I'm across, so we get eight seats. That gets our capacity where it needs to be and we'll give you our best at the theming. Um, as you well know, Warner Brothers has the intellectual property rights for yep. the Green Lantern. We're just a, a fabricator. So this vehicle is on its way next week down to Australia to join its other six vehicles and uh, it'll be opening on the Gold Coast mid-December. Mid That's amazing. Okay, so I'm looking at this vehicle here. Now, honestly, I had no idea that these were being themed up so well. So you've got pulsating green lights. I'm seeing um, an on-board audio system, is that right? right? Yeah, we actually um, changed out the whole audio world as well. Traditional coasters have had a, a big battery. We're using a capacitor. It has a 90-second charge rate and a nine-minute runtime, multi-track, so the park can use it for audio, for instructions, for a variety of different things because they can put uh, it's surround sound, so they can put multiple tracks in there. Do it depending on proc sensors, proc switches have different tracks coming alive um, from cool. a from a thematic standpoint. Cool. Now, is this is this like correct me if I'm wrong? Is this your first vehicle that has onboard audio? For it? This this is our first vehicle with onboard. Well, excuse me, I take it back. You know, uh, the Six Flag Magic Mountain they hired someone X2, to come in yeah. X2. But this is but the first like, you guys yes, did it. yeah. This is the first one where SNS has been responsible for the entire design. That's great. Okay, so now you guys have this project going on. I know you just opened up one of your launch coasters in Beijing, is that right? And uh, from what I understand, like China's kind of been a hotbed for you guys. You have a few more uh, attractions coming out? Yeah, the uh, Beijing launch coaster opened in July. The, uh, a similar coaster um, of ours will open in Shenzhen in December. Wuhan will be in the spring. And then as you well know, we're opening our uh, fourth dimension coaster yeah. at Dinosaur Park. Fabulous product. We're, we're so happy with how that's turned out. And you guys know that we'll actually be visiting all of those parks in, in uh, September of 2012. So. Okay, I hope so. Perfect. Let us know. We'd love to have come down and go with you. Cool, cool, cool. Now, all right, so I'm also told that uh, there's uh, a lot of action happening in the, uh, the, the, the kiddie rides division for you guys, right? So tell us about that. Okay. You know, as SNS has grown up and matured, we've tried to develop family rides or a variety of different kinds of rides. And uh, every year we're hoping to come up with a um, new family attraction or chosen attraction. Outside we have our mini who. Okay, cool. um, it's basically, it's a reverse swing. So think of a, a teeter-totter type of a thing on steroids, if you will, but it's got a spinning uh, teacup style of, of, of actuating arm. Fun product, fun product. I hope you go out and try it. Yeah, because uh, the frog hopper sort of almost like revolutionized kitty rides. Like every park out there has a frog hopper. So you guys kind of like uh, thinking this might be your frog hopper 2.0? We, we hope so. You, you know, we introduced the junior swing last year, and that's um, that went up into Idaho, and it's been a huge success for that park up cool. there. And we hope to sell more of those, and the Mini Who is just one more to add to that family. Excellent. All right, so 2012, very busy for you guys. Lots of SNS new hotness. Um, Kevin, thank you again, Thanks, and we look forward to okay, it. Okay, appreciate it. All right, take Have it easy. You too. And I've got Wavelock. Wavelock makes some of our favorite products. You might have seen us do the Flow Rider on the Royal Caribbean ships. We've done it on our tours at Wave House in San Diego. And I'm here because I see a new product. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Sure. Uh, this product here is called the Wave Us. And it's a 180 degree ride. You can have four people riding this product at the same time. Uh, it's really exciting because it creates like an amphitheater where the, uh, the rider can go from one side all the way to the other side and creates a really massive ride surface. Or alternatively, you can put dividers and have four people riding at the same time. That's really fabulous because I know a lot of people talk about capacity issues on the Flow Rider. Having four at once, having this larger area, because we always say the Flow Rider is equally a spectator sport as much as it is for the participants. Would you agree? Absolutely. I mean, a lot of your return on investment will be coming from food and beverage, from retail, 
everything that goes along with it, everyone that's standing around watching it, that's a key part to the capacity. It's not just about the people who are on the attraction riding, but it's about everything else that goes along with it. Well, thanks so much, Andrew. Really appreciate the time, and we can't wait to see this installed at a park hopefully soon. All right. Thank you very much. All right, everyone. So I'm over here talking with Chad Miller over the Gravity Group, and we're now sitting in a very sexy-looking Timberliner train. Is that right? That's absolutely right, and absolutely sexy. Excellent. So we're talking about new hotness, 2012, and maybe a little bit beyond. Now, we were over at the M&V booth, and uh, we've seen pictures of this like insanely crazy thing that you guys are calling High Five. I want to know more about this, because you're, you're one of the engineers of, of the company. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, so you would be the one to talk about. Tell us a bit, how is this actually going to work? Because when I look at it, it looks impossible. <laughs> well, it's, um, uh, you know, the Gravity Group has been kind of uh, famous for its 90 degree banking. Of course. And we, um, we, we wanted to, we've always had this idea that you could do a 90 degree bank in the top of an airtime hill. Okay. And that's essentially what it is. It's banking 90 degrees at the very top of a giant airtime camelback hill. And um, typically in a 90 degree bank, you're pushed into your seat because it's in a curve. This one's not in a curve. And so you're going to float. You get, you know, standardish kind of airtime going up the hill. And then once you're out of your seat and you're floating, everything's just going to turn to its side and then back. And uh, I think if uh, Corey, who's six foot seven, were sitting in a train across from another Corey, who's six foot seven, and the, and things were lined up just right, they might be able to touch fingers. You might actually maybe. Be able to touch I, it would be a stretch. So you'd need to couple of pretty tall people. So, <laughs> am I the first person to tell you that sounds absolutely nuts? No, no, I, you're not. You're. <laughs> I, Corey was the first person to tell me this <laughs> was absolutely so, nuts. I, I'm, ver I'm very curious because, you know, a lot of the guys on TPR, we've been following your work for many years. Who, who actually came up with this element? Was it like a collaboration or is like any one of you guys was more crazy than the next? That was my idea. Was it? So uh, you're. The, I'm sitting here with the guy that is the easily got to be one of the most insane gravity group. Because, like, okay, let me ask. So 90 degrees on an, on an airtime hill. Have you guys actually done that like just one of them? No, we've never done it before. So, in the first time you guys are doing it, you're you're doing it twice. If you're gonna if you're gonna do it, go big, right? No, I mean <laughs> I I'm totally cool with that. But you know we're we're riding this coaster. I think it's next September, and um, so would you recommend that we try to put like like do you want us to test out? Because we usually get some pretty tall guys like Corey. We can try to put them in the trains and test out this theory. <laughs> You won't be able to touch. Oh, come <laughs> on! I shouldn't say that. I should let people try. But no. we're gonna tr we're gonna try it out. Try. We're gonna try. we're gonna test. <laughs> All right. So now I also um, heard a little rumbling about something that's coming in 2013, also to China. Yes, it's uh, in the city of Tianjin, which is uh, not too awfully far from Beijing, and uh, it's another OCT Happy Valley installment, and it's. Uh, it's not a racer. It's a it's a single track, uh, but it's a little bit more of an out and backish kind of feel, and I think that's probably as much as I'm allowed to say about cool, it. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Now it gives us something to look forward to uh, in in the upcoming year. So, so now you've been you've been designing roller coasters a long time now, right? How many years? Uh, since since 1998. Wow. Do you have a favorite? Um, like going back to then, like a favorite that you've worked on? Uh, it's always the current one. Really? <laughs> no, it's. Uh, uh, the Voyage, of course, is, is way up there on my list. Gotcha. Um, just, just for the sheer amount of track that we had to work with and the amount of fun that we had just doing stuff with that amount of track. Um, but quite honestly, the one in Shanghai. Yeah. I, I love that coaster. It's, it's, it's graceful. It's, it's pretty, and, it, and it's packed with airtime. and. And it's fun to ride with Chinese people because they are scared to death of wooden coasters, and I love it. The, the, I, I noticed they do this like death grip and with heads down. Yes. All right. Okay, Chad and I, we're going to practice. This is the way Chinese ride coasters. Ready? One, two, three. Let's do it. Okay. Except there's always one guy, and if you go look at the, the monitors after the ride where they've taken your picture, there's always one guy on every train that's like, balls out, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm like the ballsy <laughs> Chinese guy. Yes. That's amazing. So that, was that your design then, Fireball? Well, that was that was like all designs. I mean, the high five was my idea, but by the time it's a coaster, it's everybody's Everyone's everybody's work. It. Yeah, definitely. cool, cool. All right, Chad, thank you again. Look forward You're to welcome. it, man. Like, I seriously, that high five thing—it scares the 
shit out of me when, when <laughs> I see that thing. And damn it, like I I can't wait. No, I'm no, really excited. I, I mean, to be to be honest, I mean, you know, we see the numbers, we know it works. Right. But I'm curious myself, how's this going to feel exactly? I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. Gravity Group designer Chad Miller, I'm curious myself. <laughs> Mark that one. Tweet it right now, kids. All right, man. Again, thanks. Okay. All right, so we're out here riding SNS's Mini Who. Is that how you say it? Mini Who? <laughs> Mini Who. So I'm told this is going to go up and then spin. Good for little kids. I think even Kristen can ride it. It's what, 36 inch height restriction? With an adult, yep. With an adult, 36 inches. So I'm a little scared right now. So we'll actually see how this goes. All right, you ready? No spinning. <laughs> we're going to spin a lot. All right, let's do this. Oh, I'm concerned. Shouldn't be concerned. Remember, this is for little kids. I don't trust you. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh -oh. dear. Oh, we're spinning a little bit. <laughs> How much should we spin? That's enough. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> All right. We're tilting. Woo! We're spinning. Woo! <laughs> this is very cute. Okay. I like it. All right, we're going to do <laughs> one really big spin for us. Here oh, we go. No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> okay, that's not spinning. Okay. All right, we'll stop spinning this way, and now we're going to spin the other way. Oh! <laughs> All right. So, you think Kristen would like it? It's like a teacup frog hopper. This is perfect. This is awesome. Want to spin one more time? One more. Okay, one more spin. Here we go. And spin! <laughs> Whee! It actually takes some work to spin, so. That's good. It hasn't been loosened up too much yet. <laughs> oh, we'll get it loose, baby. <laughs> All right, so now we're at the top. At the top. And we're going to spin. We're just going to spin a little bit more. Ready? Oh. Is it Alyssa friendly? I don't like the teacup portion of the teacup <laughs> <for Robert. laughs> Okay, we'll just let it do nice and still. Okay. No. Spin again. <laughs> oh, no more spinning. <laughs> Whee! Okay. Whoa. All right, so we're coming back down and we'll spin it. Do one last final spin and let's see, we'll put it there. All right, so that was the Mini Who over at SNS. What do you think? Do you get a thumbs up? Definitely thumbs up. All righty. All right, so we're here with Sandor Kernax at Intamin. Now, obviously, you guys know Theme Park Review are huge, huge fans of Intamins. You guys have a lot of new hotness coming up in 2012. Now, the first thing I want to ask you guys about is, so I heard you guys are putting this crazy drop tower on the side of Superman, the Escape at Magic Mountain. Is that right? That's correct. So how exactly is that going to work? How, do you guys just, like, bolt it onto the sides? Like, what, what can you talk a little bit about, like, sort of the engineering that will go behind that? Yes, we will be using the existing structure and uh, we will attaching uh, all the rails and all the equipment needed, the winches, the wire rope system, to the side of the Superman tower, and they will be operating two eight-passenger vehicles. Now, is that uh, similar to how you guys did it in Australia, or what uh, challenges are there? Because the structures are different, right? It's similar to Australia. The only thing that we have a different type of structure here, and. Uh, this will be twice the capacity of the Australian one. It will be 30 or 40 foot taller than the Australian one. So I think it will be a quite an exciting ride. So I would imagine that there'll be quite a few swear words being said as you come down that drop. Is that correct? Oh, yes. That will be a fantastic <laughs> ride. Um, now, obviously, so we've been following you guys for a long time. So that, to me, like that's the sort of West Coast new hotness. You guys also have on the East Coast, Hershey Park, um, a wing coaster and is this sort of the first ride of its type that you guys are doing? Yes, it's a first type of it and basically uh, we, it's always a very interesting thing to build anything for Hershey because they have a limited footprint yep. and we always have to put in a ride in a places where nobody believes that you can put anything in. Right. Yeah, so we've seen where this ride is going to go, sort of over by the Comet and kind of like on that side of the park. So I take it it was a little bit challenging to fit that ride in? Right, because basically we have uh, three coasters that in that area. Yep. And uh, basically the main way, the lift ha ha we have the station at the main way. It goes over two coasters and uh, basically goes over in an area of the park which has not been used for many, many years. I think it's a beautiful area and it will be a fantastic coaster 
and it will be extremely unique that some people will be sitting outside of the track and two people are sitting on the track. And the concept was not to put everybody on the side to make sure that we will have a wider ridership because some people with a 200 plus foot tall coaster may not feel comfortable sitting on the side. So I'm trying to imagine this being kind of like almost like a like a slightly smaller Intimidator 305 but sort of with Furious Baco type of seats. I mean is that kind of like conceptual? Uh, the Fur a Furious Baco we had the seats both of them outside of, right. the, out the, side of the track and Hershey was uh, in more of a family oriented park and basically wanted to have a three ride which will be appealing to everybody. That means if the whole family gets on it, the braver ones would sit on the side, two sides right. outside of the track, more conservative would be in the middle of the, just above the track. Gotcha, gotcha. And where would you sit, Sandor? I would sit on, on both places. Excellent. So 2012, again, like it's going to be a crazy year for you guys. We know about those two things. Anything else 2012 that excites you that's coming up? Yeah, we will uh, building a, a gyro tower, a 500 foot uh, gyro tower for the State Fair of Texas, which will be the tallest structure in Texas. Really? And with 100 uh, passenger cabin going on, rotating during the uh, tra uh, State Fair, I think it will be a fantastic ride. Right. Going up around and visually enjoy the site. Yeah. I think the State Fair is a fantastic site when you have 20 or 200,000 people in the park one day and then you go on the top and look around. It's, it will be a, a show lighting and everything. I believe it will be a fantastic piece. That'll be crazy. So anyway, Sandor, thank you again as always. Look thank forward you to your much. rides. And, thank, uh, thank you very much for the interview. I appreciate it. You're thank very you. welcome. All right, everybody. That was our first installment of IAPA 2011 here at Orlando. There's tons more to see. Keep back to our YouTube channel. Keep looking at our Facebook, Twitter, whatever. We'll have lots more for you coming soon. So that's it. See you later.